<laughs> All right, my friends. Today's video is actually going to be quite short. I believe it is. I really do. Sometimes I get carried away and I blab on about stuff like I'm doing right now. But I'm going to try to keep it um, to just the main topic, which is sloping a floor to drain. We're going to use sub elements to do that. I'm going to show you how that's done right now. Okay, so let me share my screen. <clears throat> there we go. Screen is shared. Ladies and gentlemen, all is well. And so what I'm actually going to do is um, I am going to, here we are on the exterior of our building. Okay. And let's, um, let me just go to the plan and let's just talk for a second. Okay. So let's just, let's just talk you and me. Let's just say someone comes to you and they say, Hey, forgot to tell you, we need to slope the floor in this toilet room to drain. Okay. And you're like, ah, because the reason you went, ah, is because the entire floor, and I just selected it, the entire floor is one object, okay? It's one object, and it, it there's not an ability to slope this very easily, except in if, if I hit edit boundary, what I can do is put a slope arrow in here, and the whole slab's going to slope. That's not the way I want to do it. So I'm going to hit the X and I don't want to edit the boundary. Editing boundary is the perimeter around the edge of your floor that just gives it its um, defining edge. We are talking about the top surface, sloping the top surface and undulating it so that it slopes to drain. And here's the best way to do that. Allow me to show you. You highlight the slab that you're working with. And then up here under the shape editing tools, we're not going to click on modify the sub elements. We need to add a few elements first. We're going to add a split line in order to isolate the toilet room. So I'm going to click add split line. Okay. Now what it shows you here on screen are these green lines, which are the current sub elements, which is around the perimeter. And what we're going to do is zoom in on this toilet room. Okay. And I'm going to draw a split line, which breaks this whole slab into smaller components. And so I'm just going to zoom way in so I can get a good lock right there on the face of that wall. And I'm going to draw it right to here. Okay. And then I'm going to click right there and I'm going to draw another one up to this edge. Now what I've done, I've drawn two split lines. It has broken the toilet room out into a separate surface, basically, that I can change and slope separate than the main slab. Okay, so here we go. I need to pick a point now to slope the floor to, like to a drain. And I'm going to pick add a point. I'm going to add a point. Let's put it right in the middle of the floor, middle of the bathroom. And when I click, all it does is it puts a point in the center of the room, but they're all still flat slab at zero. All of these are. So if you want to change the elements instead of add elements, you go ahead and click modify sub elements. So when I click that button, my icon changes to the modify sub elements kind of shape, little icon on it. See it? Now look at this. If I click this perimeter line, it tells me it's at zero, zero, which is good. And this other one's going to be zero, zero. And anything I pick is going to be zero, zero, like this sub element line, zero. This one is zero. And even the little dot, the point is zero. So watch this. If I change that point's elevation by now clicking, now that I've highlighted it, I can click on the zeros there and give it a number like minus two inches. Okay. And it, as soon as I hit enter or click, I clicked over here somewhere to, to initiate that. And look what it did. It drew in the slope lines that it takes to make that point down two inches lower. And if I hit escape, 
I'm back to normal editing. I could go do something else in my plan. It has sloped the floor, period. That's how simple this is. So let me just click on my section. I'm gonna drink, bring it over here, right to, I brought it over so it's right through the lowest point so you can see what's going on. I'm gonna open that up and we're gonna zoom in. Look at this. That right there, friends, is a slope floor, okay? I'm gonna, I'm gonna just, I'm telling you, that's it. But there's a problem here. <clears throat> you might notice that the floor slopes away from the wall and it, it drops away from my cabinet here. My base cabinet is now about right at the corner there. There's gotta be an inch gap, okay? Because this is coming on down two inches. Bad idea, Mike. So go back to the plan. Let's think of this through a little bit better so that we don't have to try to modify our cabinet. What if, we say to ourselves, what if the floor was flat out from the wall, the back wall here, until it got to the cabinet and then it sloped? That makes more sense so that we don't have to get a, a um, the toilet doesn't have to be on a slope and neither does the cabinet. So here we go. If I pick that slab yet again, I can hit modify sub elements. And instead of changing the numbers right here, I'm gonna delete a couple things. I'm gonna pick this one on the right and hit delete. Oh no, it's gone. And I'm gonna pick that and delete. Boom, oh no, it's gone. So we've got one line. If I'm gonna, I'm gonna add another split line, but look where I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna put a split line across in front of my cabinet. And I could put that exactly where I need it but I'm gonna put it in the, on there and then I'm going to draw another line down to here. So what I've done is I've isolated a smaller area in my plan so that back here behind this area where the toilet is and the sink, the vanity, those it's still flat there. So it's a flat slab goes all the way around and just this little area is gonna be sloped. So now I have to add my point back, add point. And I'm gonna put it, let's just say I put it off asymmetrical over here, okay? So that when you first walk in, you're, you don't, you're not confronted with a, a, a uh, what is that, a floor drain right, in your, right on your foot. So it's off to the right. But again, I'm gonna go back to sub elements and you'll notice when I highlight these, they're all at zero still, okay? Zero, zero, zero. But that little dot, when I highlight it, it's, it's at zero. So I'm gonna say minus two inches. And look at that. It has sloped it to down two inches at this point, asymmetrical in the floor. You can delete this dot or you can move this dot and it will update. It's, it's like on the fly instant update, it's amazing. So I'm gonna hit escape now and I'm back out to normal editing. Again, I'm going to move my section so it's through the lowest point of the floor so I can demonstrate what I'm talking about here. So let's go to it. And there we go, look at that. We've got a flat slab coming out here and then it slopes the two inches. I'm telling you guys, it is, it's, too, it's too easy. And here's a, if you wanna see it in 3D, I'm gonna highlight it and then click this little button up here that's for section box. And what it does, it cuts my plan open. It cut my toilet in half and my vanity in half. But you guys can see the floor now, right there. It's sloped, sloped to drain right in the middle of the floor. And this would be a good time to, if I had a, a floor drain family, I would click in the scent exactly at that lowest point and it would place a floor drain there so that it would drain properly into, um, into the, the plumbing system. Anyway, I think that's all I needed to show you with regard to sloping the floor. It's, it's pretty simple, guys, but I want you now to go to your projects, and if you have a sloped floor, use these sub-elements to create low points and pick on the, um, the different points and to slope your floors. So, if you guys have any questions on sloping a floor to drain, just let me know. We could have put two points in and sent them both down to um, two inches. In fact, I'll do that really fast since I'm standing here. Look at this. I pick the floor, add a point, 
If I put a point right over here on the other side of the floor, okay, I'm gonna, oops, I hit escape. Pick the point, it's at zero, right? Edit sub elements, it's at zero. Well, it's not at zero, it, it put it exactly. So I'm gonna say minus two inches. It put it there. So that one's at minus two inches and this one's at minus two inches. It slopes down to it. And so if I, um, it's, it's a beautiful thing when a floor slopes. Now I don't wanna see this extra line in here. And so what I typically do is I go to modify and I click on line work and I change line work to, wait for it, invisible lines. And then I pick these that I don't wanna see. So I just want to see this sloping perfectly down to this point and, um, and we'll put two floor drains in now. Anyway, I hope this helps you guys in sloping floors. It's really straightforward, really easy. Try it, use it, and enjoy. All right, you guys, until next time, have a fantastic day and happy riveting. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.